continuing with the 2009 uh, calculus paper on integration. Uh, let's look at question 1c. So you want to find the area, the graph. The question reads like this. The graph below shows part of the function y is equal to 1 plus sine 2x. So this is the function. Find the area enclosed by the graph. This is the graph. And the x-axis, this is the x-axis between x is minus pi by 4 and x is 3 pi by 4. So this is your minus pi by 4 and this is 3 pi by 4. And you want to find the area under this curve. So here I'm going to do first by using the graphic calculator. This is a merit question, so you can use a calculator, but to get merit you have to show the working. So let me show you. So if you go to option and if you go to F4 calculus and if you again go F4 that is integration dx. So the function is 1 plus sine 2x comma your lower bound is minus shift pi by 4 comma 3 pi by 4 3 comma sorry 3 shift pi by 4 close and here and if you enter you get this number and this number should be well known this is pi now before entering this one thing that you should confirm is always as you know in calculus in integration and differentiation you work in radians so it should be set in radians so the answer that i've got is pi so i already know the answer that my answer should be pi so i'll work towards pi so yeah to find the area under the curve, you do the definite integration of this function uh, from minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4. So I can say area would be definite integration from minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 of the function 1 plus sine 2x dx. Sine 2x, oops sine 2x dx 2x dx okay so integration of 1 is x and integration of sine x is minus cos x so in the formula sheet integration for integration you look backwards integration of minus sine x is cos x so integration of sine x is minus cos x okay so here integration of sine 2x would be minus cos 2x over 2 okay this is a reverse chain rule so now to check how did I get this how to explain this I'll show you uh, that when you differentiate this because integration is the opposite of differentiation so if this is the integration if the integration of sine x is minus cos 2x over 2, the differentiation of d by dx of minus half cos 2x should give me sine 2x. So d by dx, well, I'll take the minus out. So minus d by dx of cos 2x. So when you're differentiating, you use the you differentiate the inside function so when you differentiate the inside function 2x you get 2 times differentiation of cos x is minus sine x so it is minus sine 2x i hope you can see things clear so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and negative and negative becomes positive so this is sine 2x okay so let me bring back my blue uh, violet color so this is from minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 and uh, what you do is you substitute the upper bound first and then take away the lower bound so this becomes uh, 3 pi by 4 minus half cos 2 times 3 pi by 4 I'll be super careful okay and then you have to take away the lower bound so when you take away the lower bound it is minus pi by 4 minus half times cos 
2 times minus pi by 4. So what I have done is I have put this into this and then take away by putting this in this form. So this is called the upper bound and this is called the lower bound. So this is, I'll delete this. So this is, uh, this is, I can say this is 0 0.75 pi minus half of cos. Uh, this is, this is 3 pi by 2, which is 1.5 pi. Okay. Minus, uh, this is minus pi by 4. I'll keep it out. Uh, or minus pi by 4 can be written as. Uh, minus 0 0.25 pi minus half times cos of this is half so that is minus 0 0.5 pi I'll use my calculator to figure out what is this so cos 1.5 shift pi is 0 so this is 0 this whole thing will become 0 okay and what is cos minus 0 0.5 pi? Cos minus 0 0.5 shift pi is also 0. So this whole thing will become 0. So what I'm saying is this whole thing, let me use a different color, a black. This whole thing will become 0. This whole thing will become 0. So, so this is nothing but 0 0.75 pi and minus and minus will become 0 0.25 pi which is equal to pi and that's what we already confirmed and so you can give yourself a smiley face okay my smiley face looks very grumpy okay i want you to look at the next question which is question b uh, and i'll get back to you and uh, uh, look at how to solve this this is uh, this is surely a merit question. I would like you to do this and then I will do this in the next video. See you.